My name is Harry Snyder. I'm president and CEO of Great Oaks Career Campuses. Well, really, we call vocational schools now career technical education, career tech schools. Hands-on learning, experiential learning. It provides students the opportunity to learn different career pathways and learn it in an environment where it's hands-on. They actually get a touch, whether it's a vehicle, a cosmetology, we were talking about doing nail technicians, health tech, working with patients, a broad range of programs. In fact, we have over 20 programs at our Live Oaks campus. Great Oaks is a what is called a joint vocational school. Back in the 70s, uh, late 69s, uh, legislation was passed that schools needed to pro provide at least 12 career pathways and at least 20 programs. With that, schools couldn't afford to do that, so they joined together. They, they created what is called joint vocational schools. They joined together. In our case, we're the, one of the largest in the state of Ohio. We have 36 partnering schools in our entity. And we have schools all the way over in Harrison, Ohio, all the way up to uh, Fayette County, Miami Trace, and Washington Courthouse. We also serve the northern part of Claremont County. So uh, Batavia, Goshen, West Claremont, Milford, Claremont Northeastern are a part of the schools in the Claremont area that come to the Live Oaks campus. So all of our programs, from an aviation maintenance to a welding, HVAC, heating, ventilation, and air conditioning. Each program has its own certification that is recognized both at the state level and nationally. So it, it's specific to that program, cosmetology. Those students will sit for a cosmetology exam, and if they pass, then they can practice cosmetology in the state of Ohio. A welding program, AWS, American Welding Society, has different testing. Auto has ASE, Automotive Service of Excellence, different certifications. All of our students have the opportunity to at least get one certificate in their program. Many of our students get multiple certificates in their programs. So in addition, we partner with our schools that send their students to us. We have to finish their junior and senior year academic requirements. So they're going to get their high school diploma from the school they attend. So if they're a Milford student or a Goshen student, they're going to get their high school diploma from that school. We give them a passport that provides that extra certifications. So when our students go out to meet with employers, they get to connect with, here's my competencies, these are the skills I've learned, and also I'm a high school graduate. Some of our students even are high achievers and go on to get their associate's degree from college. So a lot of our students not only get their high school academics, they also get a jump start on getting uh, career credits. And so we're excited about that opportunity too. And it's all fee free. So a student that comes to Great Oaks won't incur any cost other than if they want some specialty items on their own, but a student can come here fee free. The difference is our adult students would have to pay for that program. It takes them about a year to do that, and it could cost them right around $10,000 per program. Top jobs that we're seeing, business really struggling to find employees is healthcare, from both the hospitals to the nursing homes. Uh, construction right now, or heavy equipment. Welding is one of our hot programs right now. Um, those students are getting snatched up as soon as they leave. In any of our computer programs, um, programmers to building the infrastructure to web, web designs are a hot item. I was looking at our top, uh, the critical top jobs in the state of Ohio, and out of that critical jobs, we, we probably had seven of the top ten listed that we, at least our students have the opportunity to go into that entry level. Um, some of the ones that I, I do want to touch on, we have a a EV plant being built up in Fayette County, electric vehicle battery plant with Honda and LG. We see that as a emerging industry, so I'm going to tell you we're going to create an EV program, technician program, and we're excited about that because you'll hear more about electrical vehicles and how to recharge them, how to work on them, and, and those programs are just being developed, so we're excited to be a part of that. The other is the Intel plant up in uh, Delaware is going to cause businesses to look at Southwest Ohio to help complement Intel and that's going to be in the computer manufacturing. 
So when I say a computer chip manufacturer, do you know what the number one need is for the computer manufacturing? HVAC technicians. So to build a computer chip, you need a lot of water, a lot of energy, and you have to cool it down quickly. So a lot of people think in that building of a chip, it's just about melting sand and making this perfect chip. Well, that all takes energy. And then you have to create an environment for that chip to be perfectly made. And so HVAC technicians have to be in there understanding that these rooms have to be at a certain temperature, they have to be clean rooms, which means a lot of filtration. So our HVAC program, we're, seeing a, we're going to see a large increase in the need for those workers out there. That's just an example. A construction, if you have any construction abilities, now's the time to get involved in it because you're going to see more and more construction going on. It's an ex exciting time. We're building a new facility here at Live Oaks, not a new facility. We're renovating an old facility, but we're adding extra space. Uh, we saw increased uh, uh, requests for our programming, and we're excited about participating in that growth in Claremont County. We think Claremont County is a great place to be right now.